forest. 30% of the Earth's land is forest. We depend on trees for the air we breathe in to the wood we use. This tree over here contains around 40 to 50% of cellulose, the most abundant biopolymer on Earth. Each year, billions of tons of cellulose are produced for papermaking, packaging, and other products. But we are not stopping there. At the Bioresource Processing Research Institute of Australia, or BioBria, we are committed to develop functional materials from cellulose for high-value applications. This paper pulp, for example, can be broken down into tiny cellulose nanofibers as small as a billionth of a meter. We introduce different chemical pretreatments on cellulose such as this and apply mechanical forces to produce nanocellulose gels. Hydrogels are 3D networks of polymers which can absorb hundreds of times their own weight in water. Would you believe that this hydrogel is 99% water and only 1% fiber? That's 100% correct. These are promising renewable materials that can be used in varieties of applications such as food, medicine, and agriculture. This hydrogel can be used for wound dressing applications due to its biocompatibility with human cells and tissues. It can provide moisture to dry wounds, especially burns, and help cell migration to facilitate wound closure. But bacterial infection in the wound can slow down the healing process largely, so it is of utmost importance for such materials to have antimicrobial properties. In this era of antibiotic resistance, when bacteria are becoming smarter and not affected by most antibacterial agents, we are using a new bacteria-killing agent. We synthesize this antibacterial compound from bismuth by a chemical reaction and incorporate it within the hydrogel structure. This hydrogel can kill the bacteria with no toxic effect on human cells and help heal the wound, a promise of the next generation renewable bioactive wound gel. Oh, that's amazing, Masha. Do you know we can make nanocellulose foam from this hydrogel? Oh, really? And what are you going to do with that foam? Well, I'm going to use it for food packaging. Let's go to supermarket and I'll show you something. We can see that the currently used petrochemical based super absorbent pad is not efficiently absorbing blood from the meat. There's often liquid pools around the meat rendering it unappetizing. Chance of microbial contamination is also increasing. We can make composite of nanocellulose foam and use it as a super absorbent pad for meat packaging. Our nanocellulose foam has very densely porous structure, so it can absorb liquid 100 times of its own weight. You can see water is not coming off from the foam and the foam structure is quite stable. So, our sustainable super absorbent pad can efficiently absorb the released blood from the meat and keep it fresher for longer. Laila, did you know that we can also use the nanocellulose to increase crop production in agriculture? Really? That's a great idea. Yes, I'll show you. Super absorbing hydrogels in granular form can be mixed with the soil. These hydrogels can store an enormous amount of water upon rains or soil irrigation. In fact, these hydrogels can be considered as miniature water reservoirs. Water will be released very slowly from the hydrogel upon root demand. This will increase crop productivity and reduce water irrigation consumption, saving millions of megaliters of water every year. Nanocellulose hydrogels 99% water 1% fiber A green solution with Unlimited, Unlimited Possibilities! possibilities.